Hello my friends, how you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Uh, once again today, powered by my awesome sponsor over at Elgato. Uh, now my friends, there is always a link down below in the description. If you're an aspiring content creator, you want to learn more about what I use to help make my content happen uh, every single day, then uh, check out that link down below. And of course, you can go ahead and pick stuff up there for yourselves to level up your content creation game. Thank you once again to Elgato. And let's get into the episode, shall we? Uh, if you enjoy, hit me with a thumbs up, subscribe, all of that good stuff, you know. How's about, right? How's about we do this for today? We'll go with... Um, We'll go with some daily packs, so daily SBCs and, and stuff some, like that. Big old store pack, why not, right? Um, I've got about the perfect amount of coins for it. Then a little bit of a finish off the weekend league, and then the rewards from the weekend league, all in one video. That's what we're going to do today. So it's me, green screen lasty, um, as... Uh, yeah, life just got a bit busy for a couple of days there, and I needed to focus on just getting the videos done. That's why the streams have been, uh, well, that's why I haven't streamed in a, in, a, in a couple of days, in a few days. Um, but we're looking to get back into it, that's for sure. Um, sometimes I just need a couple of days to get, get everything right again, do you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can see here that even some of the daily packs were just given out to me. I was actually getting some... Uh, I was actually getting some walkouts and stuff here, there, and everywhere, which was lovely because some days they are absolutely tragic. Some days it seems like they want to give me plenty of stuff to work with. Um, so you'll see that a little bit of a little hit, a little bit hit and miss. Actually, we get some good stuff, some terrible stuff, uh, but that isn't that always the way, right? So uh, yeah, essentially, um, I got to a point where I was like, hmm. Big old store pack, isn't there? <laughs> and I kept seeing the pictures of them on social media of how ridiculous some of the pack pulls were. Um, so I know that I've got a tradable Drogba in the club. Uh, I know he's dropped in price since I bought him, probably by about 200k by the time you're watching this. Uh, but I am currently sat on like 650k, and that seems the perfect amount. So once we get through these, which are our daily... 84 times sevens, uh, I am going to go ahead and spend those coins on a pack and see if we can get loads and loads of cool stuff. I mean, you've seen the title of this video and the thumbnail, right? You know that we're going to get a lot of cool stuff. It just, just the question is, what cool stuff, you know? Uh, so anyway, uh, in my 84 times seven, I end up getting just a single walk out there. Not great. And quite a lot of 84s that are duplicates, to be fair. Uh, so yeah, we've, we've definitely had better ones. Um, on to pack number two then, German striker pop, pop and a double please, oh yes, let's go, that's much better, uh, 88 rated pop uh, and probably an 88 rated Bernardo Silva or something, oh, oh my, what, how did I know that, um, I'm great at that, you know, acting, uh, anyway. So, uh, four walkouts in that pack, which is completely the opposite of the pack before, isn't it? Uh, and then the third and final one of these for the day. Uh, I noticed that we also got... It's just gone 6pm on... Uh, just gone 6pm on Monday night for me as I'm filming this right now. But uh, I noticed that we got some 83 plus player picks as well. We got the 80 plus player pick back as well uh, this week instead of the 81 plus player pick. Uh, so, you know, how many of these... Oh, we can do five 83-plus player picks every day. We know that they cost two gold squads, though, don't we? Yeah. So, um, I'll see whether or not I think that's worth it. We'll probably do them all, though. You never know. And I keep thinking maybe I'll... Uh, oh, oh my God. What are we doing here? This looks like a big old store pack. I forgot I was looking at my screen. Lewandowski and Zegrova. Um... Now, we know that if we're going to get any icons or anything, they're not going to be in this part of the pack. They're going to be all the way towards the end for some odd reason. Uh, so I'm seeing three informs. I'm seeing 90s and 88s on the first page. 20 duplicates is something else I'm also seeing. So let's just scoot past this page right here, and we should start seeing some good stuff. Oh, look right at the end there, right above my head. Let me just duck down a bit in case 
in case Kaka wasn't on show there, we got ourselves a 93 Kaka, ladies and gentlemen. And then towards the end of the pack, I get a 91 Van Persie, a 91 Campbell, a 91 Prince, a Cola, a um, Francescoli. We get that Lineker, we get Lampard, we get the baby uh, Park Ji Sung. So uh, this was the big old dub from this pack. 850k at the time of opening. He's probably at the same price as the pack now. I don't know. But as someone that was thinking about doing the Ronaldinho SBC, just because I I think we're, we're in for so much fodder and we've got so much stuff in the club, I reckon I could get those 490 squads done. Kind of no problem if we said goodbye to a few special cards. Uh, I, I look at my Kaka now and I'm like, oh, wait. Kind of similar stats, but double play style and all of that sort of stuff. You know, actually probably better stats when you look at them side by side there. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with, with this Kaka for now. If I do decide to go down the route of getting the Ronaldinho, I probably won't. I probably shouldn't. I don't know. I'm so... It's, it's Dinho, isn't it? It's Ronaldinho. How could it not be good? Anyway, with the duplicates um, that we had left over... You know, the Campbell, the, the there was three icons in the dupes, two Golazos in the dupes, and loads of higher rated players. I decided to get the 88 plus hero player pick done. And literally, I, I just used all the dupes and then a couple of other players, and we were all set. So uh, that was really, really easy. And it keeps the club absolutely topped up. And we should hopefully get a nice hero here as well. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, what did we get then? Was there one, two? No, there was one. So we got three Galazos and six Galazzo heroes. No, six Galazzo icons in that pack. It's a shame that some of them are from Team 1 and stuff. But hey, Kaka, massive dub. Um, I haven't worked out the value of that pack, though, from what we actually got. But it was definitely over 650k. This right here is my icon player pick. I've actually jumped the gun a little bit there and told you I've done the hero player pick. But it was actually the icon player pick that I put all of those dupes into. And I got 94 rated Gerd Muller. Thunderstruck version. A cool card that's actually worth like 400k plus. But I don't see myself using him. Is there a reason for that? Is he just super rare? Is he actually really good? I'm going to say probably not for my playstyle. I don't know. Surely Drogba is better, right? Uh, yeah, I reckon Drogba is better. Um, so anyway, yeah, I can't remember if it's uh, for somewhere in this episode or maybe it's a part of tomorrow's episode early, early on that I've already filmed. Um, but we will get a hero player pick done with some extra fodder. Um, so don't you worry about that because I'm pretty sure we're now heading on in, into the weekend league, right? Uh, tradable Ter Stegen, by the way, from one of the little packs there from the Icon SBC. Uh, 89s currently go for under 23,000 coins. So yeah, anyway, we are 20... 23,000 coins better off than we were, which puts me up to a whopping 25k in the club. Um, yes, we are now going to be poor for tots. Oh, well, I reckon we'll still earn loads of packs and pack loads of blues, right? Surely. Um, but anyway, into the rest of the weekend league we go then. 10 games remain. I wasn't feeling it. This was Sunday night, all right? So it wasn't it wasn't like a Monday session or anything like that. It was Sunday night. I got a spur of motivation to get this done because I knew I had some busy, busy stuff to do on the Monday. Um, and that's obviously why I, I couldn't stream on the Monday. Um, but, yeah, I, I didn't know how this was going to go. First game gave me a little bit of hope. Uh, in the fact that, you know, as you can see here, uh, gone 2-1 up. Um, Kaka is scoring left, right and centre. Brilliant stuff from the boy. Uh, having a great first game there. Pushing down the wing as well with his pace. Whipping one up high into the box for Drogba to head home. Um, so that could be a great technique for us going forwards, couldn't it? That, that sort of LB uh, lofted cross where someone with aerial plus like Drogba can literally rise like a salmon and head at home. He doesn't have power header plus, but, you know, he should beat the defenders in the air, right? Um, that is definitely one of the metas at the moment. Uh, into game number two of this session, then. As you can see, I actually go 1-0 up. Um, and actually, I go 2-0 up. Uh, this was a weird one, though. The weirdest game I've played in a while. He does make it 2-1 in the 69th minute. 
But we're going to go ahead and make it 3-1. Uh, you know, just a few minutes later. I'd even brought on my Gianluca Viali at this point as a super sub. Um, but then he brought on Alexia Pateas. I'm not sure if Berbatov was in the original starting eleven, But as you can see, within just a couple of minutes, I scored in the 73rd, 74th, remember. Five FIFA minutes later, he's level at three all. And then... A couple of minutes later, he's winning the game. And I'm like, what? Well, I, I actually don't understand. I was seeing player locks and stuff come out of it when, when really they weren't happening before. I reckon he's got a pro older brother and he's handed the controller to him uh, because it's just nuts how different this game was after the 75th minute. I was 3-1 I, I was up in the 75th minute, I think. And, and I lost 6-3 in normal 90-minute time. Baffled. Absolutely baffled by that. So that one, I'll be honest, it made my head go. It made my head go a fair bit as well. And then the next game, I find myself 1 and 2 nil down, I believe. Uh, Foden scores a goal there, and then Chilwell knocks it through to Lewandowski, back to Foden again. And this card has obviously got a great, you know, he's got a great left foot, hasn't he, Phil Foden? We know that. Um, but I didn't just go into a complete and utter rage spiral here. I ended up getting one back fairly quickly there with Didier Drogba. Uh, and then a beaut of a ball over the top for Drogba. Cut it back because, Le um, not Lewandowski, my opponent's got Lewandowski. Uh, S Wine. oh my God, I'm forgetting the boy's name. Timo Werner was the one that was through. Scored a couple goals in a couple minutes and uh, I then found myself 3-2 up. Uh, my opponent then got a man sent off. I think I missed the penalty from it though. Or something. Maybe I'm, it was a free kick and I missed that. But as you can see here, a couple of really quick goals um, in the 60th minute or so uh, of this game. And we, we go up to five goals. So we're 5-2 up. My opponent quits. Uh, and we're back on the nice winning run. Now, I think there might have been four or five games in the midst there. In between that one and this one that were losses <laughs> and let's just put it that way really uh, i probably went into eight games um three of which my opponents decided to quit at nil nil or whatever uh and then i lost a whole bunch so my head was in absolute narnia at this point i, I just I'd, I'd fully lost it uh i didn't care what result i ended up coming out of the weekend league with here uh i think at this point i probably knew i'd bottled 11 i think where were we at? I can't really remember. Um, but essentially, it weren't looking good. Maybe it was in between that game and this game. I can't really remember. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, what is that for a squad to come up against? And what do you know? This guy was sweaty as they come. He's obviously on another burner account. Uh, just just sweating out weekend league after weekend league. Which, if that's how you have fun on your weekend, then fair play. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, luckily... I did have enough of a squad to just out-team him. Uh, obviously, this is just a gold squad, really. But I ended up getting Rolfo sent off. He gets a penalty, an opportunity to get back into the game early doors in the second half, which he takes. And at that point, I'm like, I can see myself losing here. Uh, but eventually... As you can see, a little bit of just left stick dribbling with Drogba. Uh, I was playing far too aggressive and quick at this point because I was I was so angry, I was so mardy, um, and uh, that was just yeah, it wasn't working out for me uh, for me in my favour. So uh, we did get ended up being a nine run when he stopped playing at four one. I'm pretty sure, um, but he made sure he paused it three times and like tried to waste as much time much of my time as possible. It is what it is. I ended up bottling eleven in the last game. I was one nil up in the eightieth minute. Ended up going to uh, extra time, losing like 3-1 or 4-1 in extra time. <sighs> Just terrible for me. Anyway, the two player picks I get. I don't think there's much difference between uh, 11 wins and 9 wins. or As I ended up going 10 and 10. Um, but let's, let's just see what we get from the rewards. We know that the actual objectives and stuff in this game and even rivals rewards are like quite a lot better than the, the champs rewards at this point. So not too bothered, but yeah, it was definitely annoying at the time. Uh, but now I look back at it and I'm like, why did you let yourself get so stressed over it? What's the point? You know, the packs are going to be average. Uh, it don't really matter, does it? Now, I skipped it at this point here because I knew that in my 85 plus player pack, I'd ended up getting a Sadio Mane, uh, which is just an 86. So, yeah, not a Golazo or anything like that, um, which is a bit of a disappointment. But hey, 
is what it is. We do end up with, uh, I put the two duplicates into exchanges, and the uh, 89 plus exchange here, uh, the 51 player pack does get me a, albeit the base version, uh, a Harry Kuehl. So, um, yeah, you know, not bad. At some point this week, I wouldn't mind packing his other version, because his other card actually looks really quite good. As well as the big daddy... Uh, Park Ji Sung as well. He looks amazing. So uh, let's hope. Let's hope I can get a first owner drog. First owner Drogba is the main one this week. If I can get that, then I'll be happy. That's really why I opened that 650k pack so that I could sell this Drogba and have a first owner one. Uh, but it didn't happen. And in the end, we ended up getting Kakao, which is better uh, price wise at least. Anyway, but yeah, bottled the weekend league. Done an icon pick. Done a massive store pack. Done loads of packs as well in between. Quite a quite a, a busy episode. I'll start tomorrow's episode off with that hero player pick that I was teasing uh, because I just completely forgot where I was. Uh, but yeah, th thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed today, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe as well to the channel if you're new. Cheers and follow me on social media. The links are down below. Have a wonderful day, ladies and gentlemen. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.